Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm gonna make a quick video for GarageBand users. Um, it's just gonna show you how to create music in there without having a MIDI keyboard and without typing it on your keyboard, just drawing in the notes. Um, a lot of people, <coughs> at least I've I've wanted to know how to do this, and I've known other people that want to know how to do this. And so I'll just show you how to do it really quick. So here's GarageBand. It's just a new project with a piano open in it. Click on this eye down here. And it's going to bring up all these different loops, right? Come over here and select what you want, um, like jazz. And then any of the ones that are green are editable. So like this green one here. doesn't matter which one you do because you're just going to be changing it anyway to your own. But you have to have something in. So now we have this. And obviously we don't want that as our song. But we can change everything and create our own song with that piano. Sound. By going to edit. Which is this scissors thing here. We don't need this anymore. So now you can see these little bars are represent the note. And then how long it is is how long that note will hold out. Really simple. You go up higher, higher notes, lower, lower notes. And all you can do is you can just simply draw them in. So we don't want any of this. So let's just delete the whole thing. None of that's our music. Delete it. Start over. And we can draw in our own note by finding the note you want. So we want that note to play right at the beginning. If you want to draw it, you have to hit Command. Once you hit Command, you'll see that my little pointer turns into a pencil. With that pencil, you can draw in any note. So say we want that note to play right here. Whoops, I went too, too low. Now that note will play right there for that along that amount of time. <coughs> so then you want any other notes to play. And over here you have the velocity, which is really important if you want your music to sound more human, more realistic, more emotional. Adjust the velocities of almost every hit. So like I want that to be really quiet. And then Let's make it play a little longer. Just grab the end and drag it out. And then you could say you want that to drop down. So I just hit Command. Oops. Draw, draw another note right there. I want that to be soft as well. But not quite as soft as the other. That's 38. Make that 49. And then right there we want that note to hit. And I just figured this out so I'm still pretty, I'm just getting used to it. And let's have it play soft as well, but not quite that soft. And then let's have it play two or three notes at that, at the same time. Let's see what that sounds like played with it. And soft, of course. So we have this. And then obviously you can just write in as much as you want. But in any time you don't like it, you can move it around. Until you find what you want. Those are just octaves of each other, so they'll sound good together. And you can just, anyone you click on, you can adjust the velocity right over here really easy. And, uh, yeah, that's how I create music. I do it in Reason. I do all this in Reason. But Reason's $400 software and GarageBand's free. 
and you can do a lot of the same stuff. Just reason's gonna be you can go way more in depth with reason and um, way more instruments. Way sounds way better, but this is still just as almost just as cool. So I think I covered everything I was gonna cover. Just mainly just adjust your velocities if you want it to sound real. Think of how hard and soft you want it to play and how long you want it to play. And that's all I have to say in this video.